Throw up your rock fist if you're feeling it when I drop this. Show them how we blow the spot. Let's make it hot. The shot go with the body rock till the party stops. It's time to take it up a notch. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, daily videos. <clears throat> I have this YouTube account that you're watching right now. The only other video that I have on this YouTube account is a video of me holding my cat, which I was really drunk, and I was talking about the cat being my brother, so I'm completely sober. Uh, <clears throat> now for 35 minutes. I'm really happy about that, actually. Uh, basically, this YouTube channel is going to be converted to me talking about daily things in life, things that's going on in the news, weather, all that kinds of stuff. It's going to be kind of interesting, I think. Um, I'm going to see what it does. I've actually wanted to do this for like a couple years now. Ever uh, After watching Philly DTV, he was actually pretty good with uh, what he did. So now I actually just want to start that and see what happens with it. I think it would be fun. We'll see. The first thing I want to talk about is <clears throat> reality TV. That's the first thing I want to make for my first video because I think it's crazy. Jersey Shore, for instance. These people, they go to Miami, and they're getting paid and on MTV now for being on vacation. They're they're chilling at the clubs and everything and getting money for chilling at the club. That's like me getting paid hourly for masturbating, because that's like five hours a day at least, and that's a lot of money, I would think. The other thing that's so weird about this whole, you know, getting paid and stuff like that for reality TV is that it makes us <clears throat> as society not focus anymore on stuff as things that are going on in the world. For instance, <clears throat> I found myself uh, driving down the road the other day and I saw gas prices went up to 320. I don't know where they are, where they're at, like in your location, but I was looking at the gas prices and I was like, wow, I wonder if this situation pays gas money. And I think that's fucked up. It's weird. A group of girls will be at work, and I've seen this, and we all have. <clears throat> They'll be talking about, you know, Jersey Shore and all that, and then they're not even focusing on their life anymore. I'm going to tell you something. If 9-11 happened now, when Jersey Shore is, you know, being produced, we wouldn't have that much focus. We would actually change. If it was Thursday, if this happened on Thursday... We'd be like seeing 9-11 on Fox News and be like, oh god, dude, we gotta go change the MTV. I know that, you know, the World Trade Center did just get hit, but we do have to watch Jersey Shore now. I just think it's pretty crazy that that's the way, <clears throat> you know, life works today about always having to watch, you know, a reality show. Anywho, uh, <clears throat> a little bit about myself. Um, I'm 23. I love sunsets. Baskin Robbins, Brewsters, wherever that is in your location. I think it's pretty fun. I play the guitar sometimes. It's pretty interesting. I used to play Xbox like it was a religion. Um, <clears throat> I was one of the kids always running around with a sniper rifle. And it's pretty, you know, pretty gay, but that's what I used to do. But the thing is, my internet got cut, got cut off, so I'm using a cell phone for internet usage. It's kind of gay, I know, but that's just the way it is. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to wrap it up for this first video. I'm going to be making another video for tomorrow about more about daily things. Um, I have to get off because I just got done making what... It's like an Easy Bake Meth Lab. It's like a... <clears throat> it's like a, like a real, regular meth lab, but in an easy bake oven and it's like you can never get caught with that. The cops will break into your house and shit and be like, hey, you know, we hear you're like growing meth and they'll be looking in the kitchen because that's where usually you'll have a meth lab growing. I mean I don't know exactly, but at least that's what I would do. And they would never think to go into your like your kids like, you know, play box and be like, oh well, there's an easy bake meth lab because who the fuck has an easy bake meth lab and that's what I want to make, so I'm about to do that. And then afterwards, <clears throat> I can smoke like pot and everything, and then eat some cookies from the Easy Bake itself. Not the Easy Bake Meth Lab, but the Easy Bake itself. And it's actually really good if you try that out. But uh, this is my first video. 
I'll maybe be making another video in a couple hours or probably more than likely tomorrow. So everybody have a good day and thank you for watching.